And we're starting on FD. So, um... Honestly, yeah, I, I, I can kind of, I kind of get it because like the platform, the hydrant can be really obnoxious uh, with platforms because it's just like some of the counterplay of platforms versus the hydrant is that like, oh, he can't drop it from the sky. But you have to remember like there's the also the way to look at it is that like if he's under a platform and he puts it next to the edge of it, and I've spoken about this in a previous set, he just makes a little house and you can't do squat about it. It can be really frustrating. Oh, man, I'm going to try and, like, get the tweet up for this match because I don't want to miss too much of it. God damn it, I missed it. <laughs> Almost there. I mean, I'll just look at the, the replay I have access to. Ah, trampoline kill. Okay. Yeah, pretty classic stuff. If, if you're able to strain pac recovery, uh, the trampoline kill, uh, make him trampoline from extra far where he has to do all three, then you can just go down and take it. And then that second kill, uh, let me try. I'm just trying to catch up. Ah, wow. What an incredible, like, edge guard reversal by C. Caleb. Able to, you know, kind of string that back air into the, the bell and then just land the forward smash. Yeah, so now we have a pretty even matchup. Retweet the stream. There we go. Uh, so both of them at very red percent. No, we're not going to see any sort of kill uh, from from Wii Fit unless it's like a back throw, uh, uh, you know, towards the blast zone. So what happened? That air dodge really messed him up. Okay. Ooh, wow. God. All right. I just <laughs> I'm I'm clipping that because I just want to talk about like how John dodged that bell. Is I have played Pac-Man and Sinji for so long. I know exactly how long the timing is, and the fact that you're able to punish the throw like that, like even though it wasn't like a big throw, but it's just like tiny little things like that are like ridiculous to me. Because like that's that's like really really uh, taking advantage of like the nuance of matchups and stuff like that. Anyway, George. Uh, John charging uh, out in the the great beyond like a dummy and get hit by the key. Thank you, Caleb, for punishing that. I don't know why John thinks he can just do that for free. Um, sometimes he can, but you know if you have the tools to do it, you definitely need to take advantage. Um, yeah. So, oh my God! All right. So John gonna be taking game one. I just uh, let's see if I can pull it up. So right, this is just where. What happened? Yeah, it just does nothing. Okay, that's very unfortunate. I think it's this, right? So, like, look at this, right? Gonna throw this, and John is like, oh, <laughs> I'm in shield, but I know how long this is gonna take. And so it's just like, yeah, no, you know what? Whatever, dash attack. Like, normally all Pac-Man are gonna be so being like, ah, oh, yes, I've thrown it. You are now in my domain. This is my bubble. And John's just like, I don't care. And like, yeah, that doesn't result in the kill, but like, oh my god, that's like such a, that's such like, matchup experience. Anyway, on to game two. John's bands were Town and City and PS2. Uh, so yeah, Sigilov uh, opting to run it right back to FD. Um, I'm not sure if I agree with this. I mean, maybe. Like, you know, Pac-Man, one of the greatest characters on in the game on this stage. I don't know. No. John running right through the uh, the hydrant, very funny stuff. But uh, right, Caleb doing a pretty good job right now, not taking any percent until I say something. But you know that's what we're used to, right? Uh, but yeah, John at 80 and the Caleb at uh, you know 
40. So, Scale kind of putting out a nice uh, two to one damage aspect, uh, aspect uh, damage ratio. <laughs> so now, like we're 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 beginning to approach uh, the zone where someone is going to get a kill, and right now it's looking to be a little bit in C Caleb's favor. John at 130 percent, Caleb at. You know, 70, not really, like, Weefit doesn't really have anything that will kill at that percent. Like, we're still going to need an exchange. And right now, Caleb, just any hit is just making his life easier for getting the kill. And just like that, we get it. So now Caleb with a stock lead uh, and at a mid-ish percent, you know. Like, it's on the higher end of mid, but, like, we're still not looking at, like, a strong hit. Uh, what is it? Like, you can't get, like, a setup. Uh, you have to make a read to make it happen. There's no gonna, no accidental killing at this point. So, John still needs to get some work done. And C. Caleb really just running away right now uh, with this lead. Building some pretty decent damage. You know, just controlling, not extending. And, oh, man, that's some good stuff. Uh, saying, like, hey, I know you're going to try and do the get-up attack here. I'm going to wait till you do it. Run off and, like... The get-up attack hits the Hydrant. The Hydrant has 13 health for it not. And when you run off, like, you have... You just instantly put in the air, so you have no, like, startup, and you can just run off back air. Really fantastic stuff and just, like, coverage by C. Caleb. John, gonna have to... One, okay, react to the key, please. Just shield, bro. Anyway. Yeah, John's gonna... He needs to take this kill now. And then, like, honestly, you're going to still deal with the, the same sort of situation, even on the same stocks. So, like, C. Caleb is definitely right now in the driver's seat, just holding center, charging those fruit, putting out the hydrant when necessary, which is really good because, you know, you only have one of them, and you just got to keep, uh, you know, keep stock of, like, when to use it. John going to take a, finally take C. Caleb's first stock with a dash attack, and now at 150%, how much damage can John put on uh, before losing this stock. You know, this is a very scary situation here, and C. Caleb is just not letting him take any uh, movement. So now we have a full stock lead. C. Caleb able to secure that stock off the side with a forward tilt. And let's... Uh... All right, John getting a massive 70, 85%. Oh, my God. Caleb reeling back in his chair. Where did my lead go? Where did it go? Oh my god. That's just, I mean, again, this kind of just speaks to like how well you know the matchup because uh, you're able to just like use their own tools against them uh, and really just expand on that. And now we're seeing. Oh my god. What? <laughs> what happened, man? That was the forward tilt that took him off the side with that full stock lead. All right. This is what we... No, no, no. We're going back. He was at nine. So... Wait. Is that double hit from the hydrant? Oh, my God. This is so much. Okay. Boom. Boom. Wait. What was that? I'm I'm getting so okay. Is hydrant ball hydrant? Yeah, no, it's just ball hydrant. That makes sense because the rehit rate wouldn't be that fast. Then gets hit by the sun, and then what else happens next? Right, just dash stack to cover the landing. God damn! And then, booge. He was at nine at the start of that replay. Nine. Good lord. Yeah, so John taking a 2-0 over C. Caleb. This this was crazy. Just I mean, like, that's a pretty standard-ish thing to do. But, like, you know, it's, it's not reactable. What are you going to do? You got to read it. Good stuff to John.